Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Attract Well Office Hours. I'm Coach Ashley. Today, we're joined by founder and creator, Greg Hillwine. Hey, everybody. We're glad you're here. We are. We're glad you're here today. Uh, go ahead and let us know where you're coming in from as you join us in the chat. Uh, we're so excited to share with you strategies today, uh, as well as getting into uh, some hands-on strategy, right? So this is really supposed to be, uh, in, in my mind, as I'm thinking about this, I, I want this to be a workshop today. I, I want us to work together. So I do have some training. I want to walk you guys through uh, the strategy that I walk clients through when we are kind of trying to figure out how we lead people to what we have to offer, right? So um, one of the things that we'll really dive into and focus on today is the order of operations. Um, I am not an engineer, but sometimes I think like one and, and I, I think that it helps. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to get a little mathy and equation-y on some of this today, um, but I'm, I'm excited to share this with you. So uh, go ahead and let us know in the chat where you're coming in from. And uh, we're going to pop into some slides, share some information with you. Uh, but there is a lot that I want to hear from you, right? Um, please uh, close off your distractions and be present here today uh, because we want to chat with you. I want to bring you out. I want to talk with you. And if you are here today and you're unclear about how you are going to be getting your leads moving forward or how you're going to solve the lead math, not quite working out for the growth of your business, I want to talk. I want to talk with you today. So I want to make time for that. Uh, so if you have questions, if uh, you came here today, uh, maybe there's something that you're struggling with putting into place in the system. If you're an AttractWell member, welcome. Um, let us know. Uh, Greg is here and is way more equipped than me to answer a lot of those questions. So <laughs> Uh, without further ado, um, welcome, welcome. Uh, I see we've got um, Lynn is here from Cincinnati. We've got Idaho. You guys keep it going in the chat. Uh, we're going to pop our videos off so we can have a great quality uh, recording here. And uh, and then we will uh, we'll come back on, bring you guys out, chat together, and, uh, and get into some live work at the uh, close of uh, these slides that I'm about to share with you. So let's do this. All right. So this again is the attract well office hours today. We are sticking with our previous topic from last week, which is lead generation 101. We want to get into the basics of getting leads for our business. And today we're getting into the big picture strategy. This is specifically something that's going to work very well for coaches, consultants, and uh, if you are a social seller, a network marketer, if you're someone who is positioning yourself in a coach-like way, uh, in the way that you work with clients or how you lead people to what you offer, this is going to work for you as well. So here's what is uh, in order for today on our call. First, we're going to demystify lead generation for coaches and consultants. Uh, we're going to talk about how working backwards is actually the best way to get this figured out. Um, I'm going to show you my one page business pipeline. And of course, if you're here today, uh, you're going to be able to get a copy of this uh, and we'll have a copy of this available uh, in the description box uh, in the YouTube recording. And then uh, we're going to do some live coaching on lead generation strategies. Really, really would like to work with you guys directly here today on getting all this figured out. So pay attention. Uh, if we, uh, as we're going through and I'm showing you the frameworks here, be thinking about what is what and where in your business so that we can use that to map out where we'll move forward with you today in our live help and Q&A at the close of this little session we're going to do right here. So first in chat, come over here and tell us about your business. What kind of business do you have? Are you a coach? What kind of coach are you? Do you consult? What do you do? Do you have a practice? Do you have an agency? What kind of business do you have? Who do you serve? Let us know in the comments. All right, and if you've got questions, again, uh, if you need help with something, please go ahead and add your questions to the Q&A. Sometimes our chat can get a little crazy uh, and we wanna make sure we don't miss what you have to say. All right, and if you wanna to work together live on an upcoming call, we do have someone signed up to work together live on today's call. On a future call, you can go to attractwell.com forward slash work review and claim your own spot, dedicated space to working together on your strategy, on your business, on your website, on one of these future calls. So I see we've got, oh, we've got a lot of coaches, wellness coaches, life coaches, love it, love it, career alignment, trauma, so many amazing things you guys are doing. Love, love, love this. Awesome. So I don't know if you guys know this, but 
if you don't know this about attract well yet, our members, most of our members, especially if you're switching from other platforms, save hundreds of dollars a month, right? If you've ever worked with, you know, trying to duct tape together WordPress plus 17 other things to make all the stuff work that you can do on attract well, <laughs> uh, we've, I actually had somebody who started working with us a few months back, instantly saved $500 a month. Kind of cool. So we're able to do this because we have everything a digital brand needs to get found, convert leads, serve clients, and scale your business. See, building a digital brand with the ability to generate leads online used to be really complicated and expensive. Believe me, I've done this for a decade and it used to be so much harder than it is now. And AttractWell actually makes this easier than anything I've ever seen before. So whether you're looking to attract new leads, automate business processes, launch your courses or programs, or just serve your clients more effectively without it taking up all of your time you get everything that you would have paid thousands of dollars for. And this is not hyperbolic. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let us know in the chat. <laughs> with anything you, everything you would have paid thousands of dollars for, you're going to get all in one place with Attract Well uh, at a price that nobody else can beat uh, for what you're provided with. So um, if you are just getting to know us, uh, aside from what I just shared with you, uh, you can head over to attractwell.com forward slash office hours if you're watching this on the replay uh, to make sure that you're on one of these live calls in the future. We'd love to have you. All right. So uh, uh, tell me if you've heard this before. Tell me if this sounds familiar. Uh, leads are the lifeblood of your business. Maybe just a quick show of hands. Have you heard this? Is this familiar phrase to you? Right. I mean, it's kind of like, uh, you know, does a, does a business really exist if it doesn't have customers? <laughs> you know, it's like that if a tree falls in the woods, we're getting philosophical now. So <laughs> if we don't have leads, uh, we may not have a business for much longer, right? <laughs> so uh, leads are a really, really important component of your business. So I'm curious, where do yours come from? If you've got an established business, let me know in the chat, uh, in the comments on YouTube, where are your leads coming from currently? Are you seeking people out on Facebook? Are you, uh, are you getting referrals? Are you, um, are you holding webinars? Uh, are you speaking? How are your leads coming to you? Let us know in the chat. At word of mouth, social media, referrals, Facebook. Okay. Now, next question. How consistently do those new leads show up? Is it daily? Is it sporadic? Monthly? Once every, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. Does it just happen when you're out trying to find them, right? Not often enough. Yeah, it sounds like there's, so there's a lot of sort of accidental lead generation here, right? Like I, I just bumped into someone or, you know, it's just sort of happenstance, right? It's kind of a beautiful thing uh, in the beginning uh, where we can really connect with people and, and build off of, of this thing very organically. But we do have to get to a point where we've got a strategy in place. So what have you done today? Last question for you for now. <laughs> what have you done today to ensure that you've got great leads next week or six months from now? Have you done anything today to, I mean, and, and you know what, being here today and learning here counts. There you go, Joel, <laughs> showing up here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there we go. Sent out a newsletter, posted it as a blog. You're here today. Okay, excellent. So this is definitely going to be something that's going to serve your growth in the next week and six months and beyond uh, getting this figured out today. So if you want great leads consistently, it is so important to have a clear strategy and a clear strategy does not mean following what some influencer said and posting on social media seven times a day. That's not a lead generation strategy. That's engagement. So, Ooh, exciting. Ilka, you're meeting new people tonight. See, that's, that's good. It's always good to network. I'm going to talk about that today. Super briefly. Um, all right. So it's, it's probably not the strategy that you've been taught, right? So what we're talking about today is definitely probably unless you've learned it from me. <laughs> it's probably not something that you've been taught. So many of us get burned out on marketing strategies. Have you guys ever, um, and I don't know how long, you know, everyone's been in business here, but have you guys ever just kind of felt burnt out? Like, I feel like I've tried everything. I don't, you know, I feel like things aren't working. That frustration of just, you know, pouring your time and your effort. And then you're like, Ugh, where are the people, right? Spent money, Yes. So it's easy to get burnt out on stuff when you don't feel them or see them working. Right. And, and we wind up believing that some of these things actually don't work when they, when they can, right. I can't tell you 
how many people we have this other platform where a lot of folks in that particular business uh, are told by by leaders in their space that they just need to be on social just on social all the time nobody opens emails they tried to say email marketing was dead and and that's what these people believed well <laughs> super not true email marketing is definitely not dead uh, but we wind up believing that certain things don't work and it's not because the strategy itself uh, you know or, or the the memes of executing the strategy like email or text or social or Pinterest or whatever. It's not that those things don't work for what you do. It's, it's that we don't have the right strategy in place. It's often because our big picture is not figured out yet, right? We're usually applying some of these things to our business too soon, right? How many of you guys were engaging, or maybe you're currently doing this, uh, you're engaging in social media marketing uh, or content creation without a funnel built, right? Sometimes we put a cart in front of the horse and we wonder why we're not moving, <laughs> right? So we're gonna talk about the order of operations here today and really focus on that because that really is the thing that we need to focus on, right? So this applies to tech too, right? Sometimes it's not even time to build the funnel yet. So we're gonna get to the baseline of everything today. So let's do a quick review. Last week, uh, and you can watch this on our YouTube channel, uh, we covered digital marketing funnels, right? Uh, and that begins with your audience, which is way out there in the, you know, the top of the universe everywhere, anyone possibly who could walk by or see with their eyeballs, the stuff that you're doing, that's your potential audience, right? Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, client. Now what that looks like is uh, they're offered. So the, the people who can see what you're offering is, is that you're offering something for free. It's a lead magnet that's on a landing page where they enter their name and email. Uh, and, uh, and, and so we're marketing that thing. Say, hey, I've got this free thing. Would you like it? And when they say, yes, I would, they give their name and email. They're now your lead. That lead gets a campaign from you. That's a drip of emails uh, that uh, that warms them up toward the next phase, which is what I like to call a conversion event. This is a point at which they can then become your client, right? Now, depending on your business, this might look a little different, but for most of us, especially if you're a coach, you're going to have a discovery call, right? You're not just going to like book a client. You're going to work with one-on-one -on -one before you ever talk to them. Now, maybe, you know, maybe you charge for your initial call. That's totally fine. Uh, but like to book your client, secure your client big picture, you know, you're not selling your coaching package of multiple thousands of dollars without having a conversation first, right? So we need a conversion event. And then your lead, of course, engages with that conversion event and finally becomes your client or customer, right? So the digital marketing funnel is, is designed designed and this is what it looks like to pull people through the process right it looks it looks like this funnel here right because the whole world is up at the top but only a few get through out the other side now what this looks like in your system the schematic of this sort of how things connect together uh is is that they move from wherever they see you this traffic source to the landing page and then they are eventually moved via email or redirects on pages toward booking a call with you at which point you have this conversion event, this call, and you enroll them, right? So this is what we talked about last week. Feel free to read up on this uh, and uh, and take advantage of the free program that I offered you guys last week uh, to actually implement this full funnel in your system. But this is just one piece of your strategy, and it is one piece of the bigger picture that we kind of need to have figured out before that can work, right? It fulfills that thing that I just showed you. It fulfills a mechanical function in your business, right? Where uh, where people who could be curious, they could not care. Uh, we're gonna allow them to sort themselves out by uh, by letting them elect to put their name and an email onto a landing page, right? So that's a mechanical thing that's happening in your business, a technical thing on the back end uh, that your contact manager is now gaining a new person with a tag and you know where they came from, right? So there's a technical mechanical thing that's happening there in your business, but it's not your whole business, right? Um, unless you are uh, creating a course that you never have to speak to anybody to sell and you're hiring someone or you're doing Facebook ads or something like that yourself, you do not run your entire business off of, uh, you know, a funnel that way. It's, it's an awesome thing to have those technical mechanistic uh, automated pieces like we can build and attract well, but it's not everything that your business does, right? Like you, you go and you meet people, right? Oka's going to a thing at our community center tonight, meeting new people, right? Um, we, 
we have other ways that we operate our business and life and business isn't always quite this linear, right? You know, it might be somebody doesn't necessarily get onto a call with us after day two or three or, or 20, maybe it's further down the road, right? This is a very simplified model that I'm showing you here. So knowing that life isn't always linear and business isn't always this straightforward, let's take a zoom out and look at the big picture of your business. All right. Now this is a model, this framework, uh, I will be giving you guys that you can download and reference. And we're going to break this down and kind of go through this piece by piece. And when we talk together, uh, for the, the amount of time that we can today, uh, when we talk together about the, um, the strategy that would be best to pursue in your business, we're going to be using this as a model. Okay. So we're going to go by these, uh, go through these kind of piece by piece. So first we have your content and your public facing brand. This is that step one, very top of the funnel, right? Everybody in the world is up here above your funnel, above your business pipeline. Now, your ideal client is going to find their way here via your content, your social media, your existing business, like existing clients, uh, paid traffic, or maybe speaking engagements, right? So people are going to find what you do and who you are via any of these means here, not necessarily one, maybe multiple, maybe they bounce down to one part of your business pipeline and they come back up here and re-engage with this stuff. And now they're more interested in moving forward to a next phase, right? All of these things are ways that people find you and, and people find you and that the best way to get found is to create content, right? And that content by and large is going to be something that I, I like to call it legacy content. It just means that it lasts longer in your business than something that's super snacky, like social media. Um, so, you know, this is writing blogs, it's creating YouTube videos, it's creating podcasts. Um, it's also another great way to do this, especially as a coach or a consultant. Uh, if you are really, uh, you know, really familiar with the space that you operate in, want to be an expert in your space, speaking is a phenomenal way to do that. Uh, and a great way to get leads, uh, for your business as well. So anyway, all of these are options. You may use one of these. You don't have to use all of these, right? But there's going to be something here that they connect with. Then they're going to convert to a lead, right? So they see what's here and then they're like, okay, I want to take you up on that. So maybe you do have a funnel like the one that we talked about last week and that I went through briefly here today. Maybe you've got a lead group, sort of like a social gathering space where you give some valuable content and maybe some fun things happen in there sometimes, but you're kind of, you're providing value in a community. Maybe you offer a one-on-one -on -one conversation, or maybe this is someone who was referred to you. And so you're not having the discovery call yet. Uh, it's not a conversion event yet. We are, are we, we're just, we're networking, right? We're communicating. Uh, maybe you offer a challenge. Has anybody here um, run a challenge before? Maybe for leads or, or for bringing people into your business? That's a really cool thing to do. And you can actually automate that with your attract well, but I digress. So maybe you're, you're offering something that is interesting to them and they take you up on it. This qualifies them as a lead, right? When they're up top here, they're not a lead. They're not a lead until they have participated in an event like this. They have put their name and email on a form. They have joined a group that you have set up specifically to attract leads on social media, like Facebook. You've had a conversation with them that is really qualifying in the direction of moving forward with you, uh, or maybe you're offering against something like a challenge, which is usually going to have an opt-in, right? So next, once they are your lead, they are in your attract well system, they are then nurtured toward a conversion event, right? And, and even if you're not using attract well at this point, if you're just in the DMs on social, you can see when someone is a qualified lead for you, when they have responded yes to the right questions, right? Um, you can manually move this conversation forward. A lot of us do this uh, before we ever find a tract well or anything like it, right? So once somebody's a lead, we continue to move them toward that conversion event, right? So inviting them to sit down and chat further, right? If, that, if we're keeping it one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, your, your funnel uh, may drip an email campaign like we talked about in last week's training. Uh, maybe you offer webinars or workshops, right? And you're inviting them to something that in order for them to come, they do have to register for it, right? Maybe you offer, again, some kind of a feeder program. Maybe you have a low barrier of entry, low cost course, uh, and people who complete that course, you offer your coaching to whatever that might be. They are nurtured toward the conversion event at which point 
the conversion event, again, usually for a coach, this is going to be a discovery call. It's going to be a call. It's going to be one-on-one it's zoom. It's uh, you know, it's person to person. It's whatever that thing is. Or if you are offering a course, a sales page. And then finally, once they're your client, they get whatever it is that you offer, right? That's the big picture. All right. So once you understand and know how to leverage your pipeline, generating leads actually becomes really easy, right? Once you know what your business looks like in this context, context, what are the stages, right? When you know the flow, it's easy to lead people through, right? I mean, if, if you're in the dark, you're going to be walking them through the dark too, and you're going to be bumping into corners and it's going to be weird. Right. But, um, but if we can turn the light on and we're clear on where we're headed, then all of this actually flows really easily and logically. Right. So the key is to start down here. The key is to know what you offer. And, and that's not just, I offer you know, coaching for, you know, for trauma or children or, you know, or, or whatever, right? Like life coaching. It's the answer is not, I offer life coaching. The, the answer is not, I offer courses, right? It is, it is the outcome. It is the, what you do and for whom, right? If we know what that outcome is that they're buying, cause that's what they do. When people put money on the table to work with us, they're buying an outcome. If we know what that is, And we know what the roadmap looks like to get there. And that is the thing working with you is that's the, you know, the roadmap, Uh, then it's really easy to move forward. So what we do is we figure out what that roadmap is, right? What is the thing that I ultimately deliver? What is the roadmap that takes them from where they are to that result delivered? And then we're going to take a piece of it and give it away, right? We're going to use what you ultimately deliver as a way to determine what you give away to get leads. So if these two are connected, it's obvious and logical and easy to be able to say, Hey, by the way, I got this thing. I know you would love it. How do you know? Because you already gave them a piece of that cake. Of course they want to get the whole cake if they love the piece of the cake, right? (laughs) So if what you sell is how to get from A to Z, then you offer step D as a giveaway, right? That's your lead magnet in your funnel. You offer a call to help them get their plan in place to get through steps, you know, A to F. And then you drip content in your funnel that, you know, helps them understand how to solve other problems between A to Z. And by the way, this, you know, this does build on what we talked about last week. So definitely make sure that you watch last week's training. So you know what I'm talking about here. And if you're using the client funnel challenge, this is, this is what I'm talking about, right? Uh, If you've been through any of that material, we want to make sure that what we're actually offering as a way to get leads is fundamentally tied to, connected to, contextualized to, and a part of the ultimate solution they're looking for. And okay, it's not just that they're looking for transformation. What kind of transformation are they looking for? What is the thing? Like, what's the outcome? Is the transformation in their body? What's the transformation in their body? Is it in their mind? Uh, Is it in some other metric in their life? Like we gotta be really clear on what the, the result is, right? So she's not going to Google and saying, Uh, help me, you know, transform my life. You know, she's, she's saying, I want to lose 60 pounds. How do I lose weight or how do I balance my hormones or, or whatever. Right. Uh, So we want to give a specific outcome. And then, you know, we know that in order to help her get that specific outcome, we're going to go from steps a all the way through Z all 26 steps. Uh, But what we're going to do is we're just going to take, you know, what step D is something that I think is really uh, common. And it's something that's very attractive. Uh, maybe it's something that's a, it's a very uh, difficult problem for someone to solve. So let's just say if we're keeping this, you know, she wants to lose weight uh, as the outcome, uh, then, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you do with her between steps A and Z. Well, maybe in step D uh, is meal planning. So you give away your meal planning guide, right? Uh, And then you're able to then relevantly show up and say, Hey, by the way, if you're interested in this meal planning guide, I have this other thing here, you know, where we can work together and I can get you all the way to Z, right? You're at D right now. And that's awesome. And I'm so proud of you for taking these steps, but what if you could be a Z? What if I could help you get there? Right? So that's what we're doing. So you're ultimately going to be inviting them to join you to get to that step together. Right. And of course, at this point they want in, right? 
because you've already helped them. You've given them that step D. Maybe you've dripped some other steps in between uh, in your content, kind of giving them some ideas and things that they could do, um, but you've really shown up for them, right? So once you're clear on how they move through these steps, you know, how they go from qualified to new client, now it's time to execute these strategies up here that we may have been engaging in prematurely and believing don't work, right? So if we know how they get from lead to client and how those things connect, now we can start working on what lives up top here. All right. So let's talk about how we simplify our marketing. And then I want to work with you guys on getting this figured out. So if your offer is relevant to your ideal client and you're giving away a piece of that outcome for free, the people who want that outcome of your offer right now are going to take advantage of your lead magnet and they're going to opt in, put their name and email address in, and they're going to qualify themselves as a lead. Or if you're doing this manually, they're going to respond to a post you put on social, or they're going to say, I'm interested, uh, or, or they're going to join the lead group, or they're going to join the challenge or whatever the thing is that you're offering, whatever the carrot is, right? If they want it and it's relevant to them, they're going to take advantage of it. Then your next job is to then show up where that person spends time and let them get to know you as someone who understands and serves them. Once they do that, once they understand and get to know you and that you are someone who serves them, they will become your next lead and they will become a great client for you, right? So let's talk about some must do's in your marketing. And then I want to get into working together on this. You guys, first things first, please start creating legacy content. If you have not started doing this yet. I know most of us start out on social. Social is a great place to start finding people initially, but it is not where your business should live. Uh, it is ultimately quicksand, right? It is, um, or, or, you know, to use the three little pigs, it's a, you know, it's a house of sticks uh, or, or straw even. <laughs> like it's, it's not the place you want to build your business. It is a great place uh, to have a megaphone for your business, right? So on social, um, you know, you should be sharing your content, but create your content and then link your landing page to your content, right? So if you have a funnel, uh, that's offering this thing, step, step D out of your A to Z, uh, then you're going to offer that in your content. So maybe if, um, she wants to lose weight and that is uh, really the outcome she's looking for, uh, it, you know, in, in the, your program, which goes through steps A to Z, you offer her a meal plan as step D, uh, and that's your thing that you're giving away in your funnel, then maybe you're writing some blog posts with recipes, right? So you're writing blog posts, recipes, you write, you know, two of them a week, uh, you know, you post on social, what you made this week, you talk about how good the food is, you talk about how uh, easy it was, how little time it took you to uh, do your meal prep because you used this meal planning thing that you have available for free on your website. Is that making sense? right? So we're going to link our landing page to our content and share our content on social and then share our new content when we make it with our existing subscribers and clients, because whatever you just created is something that they probably don't know. I think a lot of us, um, we, we have imposter syndrome way longer than we ought to. Uh, and, and we forget that what is obvious to us is magic to other people. We have been steeped in the things that we have taught ourselves and that we have sought out and invested in learning. Uh, and, and these are not things that the people that we are here to help know yet. Mm -hmm. So shine your light, right? Don't think that somebody doesn't know it. It's quite likely that even if they thought they did, you're going to give them some insight and they love hearing from you. It's better coming from you, right? How many of you have like made a recipe before and it's something that you had before. Maybe it was your grandmother's or your mom's and you made it and you're like, eh, it just doesn't taste the same. It's not the same, right? It tastes better when mom makes it. <laughs> this is the same thing. This is the same thing. Your people are your people. They want to hear from you that we want to find ways to show up in service of other people's audiences. Look for influencers, look for people who are in alignment with you and your mission who serve the same kind of people, right? They're not your competition. You're fundamentally different from the other people, uh, that, that are, you know, playing at that level. You guys can work together to show up in service to each other. So be a guest blogger, be a guest speaker, host workshops, and always be networking. Always be creating opportunities for more people to see you and benefit from you showing up in service to others. And when you do, always have that opportunity for them to take advantage of that thing that you're giving away for free, right? 
And all that is that figure giving away for free. You're just taking a little piece of magic out of that whole program that they would get from working with you. Right. Is that making sense? Can I see a show of hands? Are you guys kind of starting to connect how this could come together and, and really work for you? Really, really excited. So let's figure out your next step. So Carrie, you actually had a question and you also signed up for, um, for, for live work today. So I want to bring you out. Uh, you had asked, where do they spend time? What are some examples? And I think that's a really great question. I'm going to bring you out to chat and, uh, and we can talk through this together. And guys, feel free as you have questions, add those to the Q&A, or if you would like uh, to pop in next uh, and work through your lead generation together, uh, definitely let me know in the Q&A and, uh, and you'll be next in queue. Hi, Carrie. Hi. All right. So can you, you asked, me? yeah, I can. So you okay. asked, um, where do they spend time? So tell me, um, I, I know because we've spoken before that you offer yoga and Pilates, uh, but tell me like, what is, what's the outcome? You know, if somebody works with you and, and, and really think about like, if this was just like the perfect person, like you just love having this person in your class, working together with them, what are you helping them to ultimately get or do or be or have? Feel better in their skin. So I'm really targeting like new moms or any moms, moms from like 30 to 50. Um, that maybe are unhealthy, either mentally or physically. So just trying to feel good about themselves. And um, ideally, I'm trying to have them join me for like three weeks of yoga a month or three weeks of Pilates a month. And then usually new clients, I'd like to try to get them to do that 28 days to elevate. I give them that for free for okay. joining the, for joining me for three weeks of yoga or Pilates makes sense. Yes. So your yoga and Pilates, is it strictly local or are you doing this virtual as well? Virtual as well. Okay. Excellent. Um, do you have a local base? Are you networked locally? Um, I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Hmm. So, um, the bulk of your clients right now for yoga and Pilates, are they local to you or is it virtual? local. Okay. And do you have friends or network connections, say like holistic practitioners, maybe uh, doulas or, uh, or, or OBs or people who might already be serving those women? Yes, because I actually have a part-time job in a hospital 20 hours a week. It's my health benefits job. <laughs> and <Okay>. um, <laughs> It's in the maternity area. So even for them, I do a once a month intro to prenatal yoga class for free. So oh, it's on wonderful. like all the hotel, a hotel, all the hospitals, um, marketing material that goes out, their events, websites. So I get people to attend the intro to prenatal um, yoga class virtually and then hope that they'll sign up for the three weeks. And then as the three weeks package that I was talking about. So I'm having okay. trouble getting people to sign up for the three weeks. They're like, oh, I'll take the free prenatal yoga class and it's intro. It's very beginner. So they don't really get into like too much. Um, but ultimately I'd like them to sign up and I just can't, I mean, I get, usually I'll get like one person to do it, but I can't run the class for one person. I need to have at least like three or four people in it for it to be economically worth it for me. Does that make sense? Right. It does. Yeah. So I would say, um, from, from the get-go, the, um, your top of funnel, uh, is something. So you're, you're, you're basically asking someone to commit to a program right out of the gate. Um, and now I would, that said, you've got, you've got your intro class. What I would do is, is incentivize getting them onto your list onto your email list from that class. So start building your list from those people who, who come to that free class. Now, is that something that's happening already? Are you getting those emails and names uh, for the people who, who come to the, the free classes? Yes, I get it in advance. So then when they're done, I send them some free stuff. So I send them a full recorded prenatal yoga class I'll send them a free meditation so that they can try that out right away because there's more than just yoga poses. Um, what else? I'll send them a coupon for a pair of maternity leggings, um, a couple of like a bunch of things so that they can, you know, get something for doing it. Then I have a, a six, a campaign 
with for six days, dripping them to go ahead and, and join this event, join this event. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, so I would look at it like this. Um, you've got one source, one traffic source, right? And if it actually, I'm, I'm going to open up if I can find it real quick. Here we go. All right. I'm going to make this the screen view here. All right. So up here, up top for you, uh, a significant source of, of visibility or traffic is coming from the hospital for that free class. And so they're showing that they're interested here. However, and this is the tricky piece, because folks at the hospital are not the most targeted option for you. So it, yes, it is maybe like moms who just, who are going to have a baby. Yes. It's pregnant moms. Um, they're not the most targeted, right? So if you think about it, right, like you could, you could sit in a room of, of, you know, 37 different women who right now are open enough to a yoga class if it's free. Uh, and, and they're also pregnant at some stage. And you know, that not all 37 of those are really, truly vibing your people, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to kind of provide an opportunity for, you know, obviously you're, you're putting yourself out there and, you know, and folks are taking advantage of this. And so long as it's resulting in the clientele that you want and, um, you know, and you're at least at break even in terms of time and money invested, then keep doing the free thing. Uh, but what I would probably focus on more heavily is, is, is the list, because you have the opportunity for long-term nurture for people who are your people or not, they can buy, I know you've got essential oils. I know you've got, um, you've got like, you know, leggings and clothes and stuff, right? So, or athleisure wear. So um, they can buy stuff, which is great. Um, but then you've got like your people and they're the ones that are going to say yes to a program. And so basically what you want to do is just have a couple of different things that are at this level, because where you're trying to lead them is down here, right? Like three weeks of a program with you is down here. And we're trying to get them to jump from here to here when this actually does take a little bit of time and not everybody really makes it all the way through necessarily. So from this, um, from this free class, uh, what I would do is, is maybe give them a campaign uh, and, and in that campaign message, or maybe you do this one-on-one -on -one with them, or, or you offer several opportunities. I don't know how full these classes get, um, but you basically say, uh, you know, here are the things I'm interested in. Uh, and then you can go and tag them in your system and apply appropriate campaigns so that maybe you've got a campaign about the athleisure wear, you've got a campaign about the essential oils, uh, you've got a campaign about, um, you know, Pilates or yoga working with you on their three week program. And then you could actually just give these people what they're most interested in so that they could be led toward that thing. We don't have to insert you know, the 28 to elevate or really anything else in here. Um, if we can say, what are you most interested in? Um, I'm going to share some information with you. And if they say this, then you send them this. If they say that, then you send them that. Uh, and then inside of those, you know, you, you point off to those things, right? So you, you, you sell the athleisure wear in that campaign, you sell the essential oils in that campaign, you sell your, uh, your three week program in that campaign. And, and so a campaign is only going to last as long as you have, have it set up. Right. So a campaign could be, you know, two weeks, three weeks, and that's fine. And then you, you're going to want to have like a long-term nurture uh, where you're basically going to be showing up on a regular basis. Hey, I've created content. Oh, by the way, I have a workshop. And you're just sending that, oh, hey, by the way, I have a workshop to everybody, right? I got a workshop coming up. If you're interested, here's how you take advantage. Or And, and at this point, if you don't have people who are actively participating in these workshops, wait list them. If nobody signs up for them, don't host them, right? Uh, and Until you've got people who are signing up for them. So um, that, that's, that's how I would do it. Just because that traffic source specifically isn't one that was like, I'm looking for Carrie and how Carrie does yoga. Um, they are people who are taking advantage of a free thing that's offered at a place that is for literally everyone. And what we're trying to do is to move them into a space where we really need to focus on, on, on creating alignment with what you do and the outcomes that you can create. Does that make sense? Yes. Excellent. So, um, awesome. Yeah. So what, what else, what else? <laughs> 
Um, so I also get the leads, not just from the hospital, from meetup. And I usually get like 20 people that'll sign up for that intro class. But just side note, I do the same thing for people who aren't pregnant. So I'll do a monthly intro to yoga class and then offer the same three week series with um, a 30 day campaign for one pose, learning one pose a day. Um, okay. But you're saying that I shouldn't jump to that last, that bottom, let's see, one, two, three, the fourth level <laughs> until I have number two in place. And I do get their emails, but I guess yeah. you're right. I'm not, I'm not finding out for them what exactly they're looking for. I guess I yeah. assume that they were looking for learning yoga. <laughs> So that's, that's an interesting thing, right? And I see this with a lot of holistic practitioners, like a lot of chiropractors will do this where they'll do like a free exam. That's a super common thing that a lot of practice management firms teach, but they'll, they'll say, you know, come in for a free exam, but that only works. And it, and it works like gangbusters for chiropractors who sell packages, care packages. Uh, but what they do, the, 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 the mechanism there is that they get them in for that, you know, free massage or the, you know, the, the, the whole exam thing. And then a part of that, and this is just, I don't know, it's just like timeshares, right? Like you, you go and you do this thing, but then you've got to sit down with them <laughs> and then they've got to go through the spiel and you're going to walk out of there paying for whatever it was that they just sold you. Right. Uh, so, so there's a way to do this. Um, but, and, and here's, this is the, this is the trickier thing, right? Um, people, mm, what's the best way to put this? Some people just really like to take advantage of free stuff. And, uh, and, and you want the people who will, uh, but who also are actually interested and you don't necessarily know, uh, when they're walking in for that free class, whether it's prenatal or even more so if it's coming from the meetup. Right. Uh, so that's going to be very sort of general traffic. That's not carries necessarily. Um, so some will, some won't. Um, but what you can do for all of them, because you are an affiliate of multiple things that could be in alignment with them no matter what, I mean, they, they came to a yoga class, you have athleisure wear. So you share your specials with them, you connect them with stuff, you offer a consult fit thing or whatever, if you do something like that. Uh, and then, you know, with your essential oils and the natural products, you know, again, like I think for any of these people that are coming from super general, not targeted carry sources, uh, that, that you get, offer something general and then, you know, in your signature line, Hey, do you want to learn more about how we can work together to get you X, Y, Z result click here. And then you take them off to, you know, a page where you're actually selling the three-week program. And then another thing that you can do for all of these people just in the campaign that you send them, maybe the first message you say, Hey, it was so good having you in my class. Uh, what did you love most about it? Um, you know, are you interested in learning more about yoga or taking more classes? Just hit reply and let me know. And, and so then get that conversation going because now you've, you're creating a conversion event. Okay. And then a couple of weeks ago, you did a, um, a wellness, um, I don't know what to call it, like a consult page. Mm -hmm. that you offered through the Get Oiling website. And I added that and I love that. So maybe, and I haven't been using it, but based on our conversation today, it sounds like maybe I should be using that as a step two instead of joining this three-week series. Go ahead and click on this, um, this page that you created and um, we'll have a 15-minute consult. Yeah, so, uh, so do both. Um, some people don't want either and that's fine. Uh, so just as an example, uh, in the client funnel challenge, uh, that I talked about in, in this call last week, we, um, we go through and we, we use this thing that I call an authority page, uh, which is basically it's, it's like a confirmation page, but it's got a targeted message on it. That's more or less saying, Hey, you opted in for this. That means you're probably dealing with this, right? You came here for D you're looking to get to Z, right? Like that's that, like they land there. Uh, and so for the people who right then are like, yep, that's me. I'm trying to get to Z. You're like, Hey, you could get on a call with me or you could just buy this thing. Here are your options. Would you like either of them? And then the campaign will just keep coming back and saying, hey, by the way, don't know if you saw this, but you, we could get on a call and talk about this. Or if you wanna just learn more and get started, you can, you can click here. 
And, and I, and I hit that, that message is in every campaign, hop on a call with me, hop on a call with me, hop on a call with me. And, uh, and if, you know, if I was selling a course uh, that I had already you know, given a spiel for, uh, then I'd be just dropping that in there too. And there's no harm in doing that. Uh, just giving people the options to get what they want. Um, again, because your traffic is a little bit more circumstantial uh, than it is, you know, you're looking for a woman who shops Lululemon and Trader Joe's and uh, takes her kids to, um, you know, to Virginia Beach or something. You know what I mean? Like you, this is not a very specific avatar that you're attracting into your business. So your best bet is to just provide lanes. Uh, and then in those lanes, Sure, provide options for them to pop off to different places, but keep it very simple where you can say, you know, you want to learn about oils here, learn about um, yoga here, uh, you know, or how work like how working with me works, you know, here. Um, and then, you know, the athleisure wear, whatever here, like, so here are the things that you can do. So can and that be on the confirmation page? So on the confirmation page, put, hey, so join me for the three-week series or B, join me for the wellness, 15-minute wellness call or C, mm -hmm. grab a pair of um, leggings using my discount code or D, join the um, essential oils and pregnancy class. <laughs> so, Is that too much? And, and so th that's a bit much. So you're, you're seeing these people in person, right? Mm -hmm. so well- Actually, it depends. If I get a nice group of people signed up that are showing up, um, I'll do it as a Zoom. I won't do it as a Zoom if there's only a couple. I'll do it as a YouTube instead, the class, so okay. that it's twofold. That way I'm getting, I feel like I'm still getting something out of it. I'm still like okay. kind of promoting to people who aren't on this call and it's a win-win. Does that make okay. sense? Yes, it does. Got you. So then what I would do is just create, if you want this to be automated, you create a campaign that gets applied to everyone uh, that basically says, here are your options. I want A, B, C, or all of the above. Uh, and then your automations that you create for A, B, C, and the all of the above would apply those campaigns. Uh, that would be the oils one, the this one, the that one. And then everybody is just going to kind of be in a general drip because you should be sending an email out once a week when you create a new piece of content, uh, you know, put at the bottom of that email with the piece of content. By the way, there's a sale here if you want to check it out. I've got a class here if you want to check it out, that kind of thing, right? That's a good point. So every week I do send out a monthly, a uh, weekly newsletter. Um, and I include all four parts. So I'll do like a little blog post at the top and then um, I'll have a next session, next section, which is classes and events. You could join uh, and then I give like whatever classes are happening, intro to prenatal, intro to yoga, or take a, um, a Pilates class with me. Then I'll have a third section for the oil class of the month that kind of goes with the whatever the um, blog post that I was do I wrote at the top. So if it happens to be a little article on emotions, I'll put oils and emotion class. Feel free to click the link here. And then on yeah. the bottom, I'll put the get a pair. This is the outfit of the week. Grab these um, yoga pants. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. You're just always providing those opportunities. I would just focus on creating lanes going out of those traffic sources and don't just try to jump them straight to the to the final uh, the final step. Uh, just have it be uh, put it in your signature. Learn more about what it is to work with me for three weeks and then just make sure that it's a thing that you're dropping an opportunity to learn more about in all of those emails that go out. And then just because you have so many options, just let let them pick. OK, Um Thanks to our conversation a couple of weeks ago, I did minimize a lot of things. So I don't overwhelm them. And it's really just those three things and that's it. So pick from there and then hopefully you'll learn about the other things once you're actually an existing client. Yeah, and yeah. And, and don't forget to have emails in your campaign that, that directly engage, that just say, hey, how do you, you know, what do you think about X, Y, Z? Like, just make sure that you are at all stages, you're trying to create those conversion events where you get to speak with them because that's where you get to move them toward the bigger thing that you're offering. Okay, great. Thanks for coming out, Carrie. Thank you. All right, Ginger had a question. Uh, so all of this is set up in Attractwell and I just need to plug the info into it. Uh, so in the Client Funnel Challenge course, Yes, kind of. We have uh, we have resource bundles in the Client Funnel Challenge that you can plug into your Attractable account and modify to your liking. Uh, but I would like to, if if you'd like, um, 
Do you, do you just raise your hand for me real quick. If you, if you'd like to chat, uh, I'll bring you out and we can talk about that a little more just so that we have clarity on that. Uh, and, and really anyone else, uh, you know, of course, uh, we can get clear on what's next for you, for your, uh, for your business, what your lead generation strategy can be. Um, happy to, happy to help with what's next. Um, let me see. There you go. Heidi. Hi. I'm going to bring you out. Hello. Yeah. Hello. All right. Glad you're here today. So, um, yeah, tell, tell me about your, tell me about your business and, and the leads you're looking to generate for it. Okay. So my business is called nest pretty and it is speaking to women who are either starting a new adventure in their life. Well, let's just say that's what it is for sure. <laughs> um, basically, transitioning into new things. And so how to make small choices every day that add up to a beautiful life. And that includes my offers, which is organizing, coaching, oils. I have a book. Those are the things. So my question for you is, I have a lot of people coming in as leads through my lead magnets. And what do I do then? That's my question. Like they're attached to campaigns, so they're definitely getting dripped on. But okay. what do I do next? So, I mean, I still need to take this course that you put out and thank you so much for it. I'm yeah, yeah, sure. It. So let's, uh, let, me, let me pull this guy back up and let's talk about it. Um, what is the ultimate thing that, and, and obviously there are multiple things, right? You've got You've got affiliate products that you offer. You have a book, um, but what's what's the big thing? Like you mentioned, coaching. That's usually going to be a thing that lives down here, right? So what's what's the higher ticket or retention thing uh, that is the primary driver of uh, of income for you, or or that you want to be? Uh, I would say the affiliate um, okay. link, and I would love to. Yeah, I think that's the main thing for sure. Okay. Okay. So uh, for, for essential oils specifically? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So what is the outcome that you are helping this person who is like, you know, turning this new leaf, who's, who's starting this, their life over in this way? Um, what is the outcome that you're helping them to achieve? Basically starting a um, holistic, clean lifestyle and taking the overwhelm out of doing that. Uh, maybe they're in a health crisis and they realize that all of the chemicals and toxins in their home are causing health problems. And so they're dealing with the health problem and on top of it, all, all of these new decisions that they have to make. So taking the overwhelm out of that and making it super duper simple to clean up the home, clean up your life and help you on the road to wellness. Okay. So this is somebody who is, um, who's probably been recently diagnosed with something or they are, they've reached sort of a breaking point, uh, in their life. And they're realizing that something, something needs to give, right? Exactly. The okay. straw that broke the camel's back. Okay. So she's already super stressed. She's like, there's already, there, there's, there's already a 200 pound weight on her shoulder. That is that thing. Right. And now you're saying that since she's been trying to figure it out, she's also experiencing some additional weight, let's say on the same one or the other one that is, uh, well, what do I do? <laughs> so what do I even do? Right. Exactly. Tell me how nest pretty as a brand, tell me more about this person right? Because it's not just somebody who is diagnosis and stressed out over not knowing what to do next, but um, tell me more about her on a more, you know, three-dimensional personal level um, where Ness Pretty is going to be something that vibes with her. Who is she? She works outside of the home and um, she doesn't have children. She's married. She is a professional and she's try trying to do all the things. She's career and driven. She, yes. And, but okay. she loves her home. She loves pretty things. She loves her wardrobe and she's just trying to stay on top of it all. Okay. So 
she wants and she wants an Instagrammable life. She's probably she's probably not Instagram generation, but she wants an Instagrammable life, right? Yeah. Okay. And um, and she's not feeling it. Like she maybe she she aspires to surround herself, <clears throat> maybe even adorn herself uh, in in a particular way. She doesn't feel like who she wants to be inside is showing up. So you help guide her through a transformation internally and externally in herself, in her environment, and in the way that she handles herself uh, so that she can finally, you know, be that butterfly coming out of that cocoon, right? Absolutely. You should write my elevator pitch. <laughs> I think I just did. So, <laughs> all right. So that's our outcome down here. That's your A to Z. Right, right now you feel um, bloated. You feel a panic. You you feel frustrated. You are depressed. You 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 feel all of these things, uh, and you aspire. You want these things. List these things. These these these. Here is like on our journey together. We're going to peel back those layers, and you know, and 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 unearth that you that's beneath all of that. Okay, so that's that's what you that's your down here. Right. And that's not something that we're going to put on a sales page and call a program, because the fact is knowing what you're monetizing, it's really it's the journey of the two of you having accountability together and them buying the products that you recommend and them working through how they use the products you recommend. Right. Right. So so then what you're going to offer for her uh, is is something what, what is she looking for right now? If you think about what she's Googling. This person who's stressed out about this thing, uh, maybe maybe there's a common condition. You know, is it is it that these are people who are autoimmune or or they're they're trying to Google how to go gluten free? Like like who who is this person in terms of what she's searching for that she's trying to figure out for herself right now? She uh, is diagnosed with autoimmune and she's googling how to ditch the toxins out of her beauty routine. So somebody and told her already that, that she's, that there's like scary stuff in her makeup. Yeah. She read it in a book and she, it was a, just a very simple quip that said, Hey, all the things in your environment could be exacerbating your condition. Okay. Which is super overwhelming. So then you go on Google and be like, okay, where do I start? Uh-huh. Okay. Have you helped someone already uh, simplify? figuring that thing out. Right. So thinking about like, you know, if, if you had a checklist, uh, or, or if there's maybe even something that you've done in your own life that you could turn into a quick guide. So if this is, you know, a daily routine, these, the kind of things that I think are really helpful to put right here for the kind of thing that you're offering down here are going to be things like shopping lists, checklists, daily routines, nightly routines, um, you know, things that kind of give them a prescriptive activity, if that makes sense. Journals are a great thing to offer up here. Um, it, it, this is a good thing for coaches too. Um, I have a, a coach who's a, um, she does functional medicine and, uh, and she's created a journal that's not, it's food and moods. And, uh, and so she gives that away. The people who want a journal are pretty self-motivated. Those are going to be the ideal people who might come out on the other side and say, yeah, I think I'm ready to work with you. Cause I like what you've had to say. And you know what? I, I can only get so far with this journal on my own. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so we thinking about things like that. And, and then again, like under that nest pretty, because what you're doing, what I know you're doing, uh, is in your own brand you are kind of creating that enviable lifestyle, right? You figured that thing out that mm -hmm. she really wants to figure out. Like you, you're kind of, you're that hashtag life goals for her. Uh, and so what's a thing that, I don't know, what's, what's, what's a thing that makes your nest pretty? Uh, because the thing is like, when we think about nest pretty as a brand, we don't necessarily like what comes to mind logically isn't necessarily need to ditch toxins. Right. Um, but if we could take this transformational uh, message of peeling back the layers to help you reveal who's inside. And so you can live in this beautiful nest of, you know, of, of a curated life. And, you know, you want these things. I'm going to help show you how to get them. You can have it all. Um, 
how can, how can you give her a step of that process? So that's, that's what I would say is, is, um, figure out down here at the bottom, I'd actually make an outline. And if you go into, uh, the client funnel challenge, I do talk about this, uh, cause mm -hmm. you know, figuring out what to do begins with what is your program? Like, what is it that you're offering? So knowing that you're not necessarily offering a program per se, but you are offering a journey outline that journey. And then you're going to grab a thing out of that journey. Um, that'll make it easy for her to do something on her own. And, and that is the thing that you want to be giving to the people who opt in on those landing pages. Uh, and, and then of course you'll have that clearer connection, right? Because then when you give that thing to her here, you'll be able to say in your campaign here, by the way, this is a part of my program here. If you want to work with me, here's what to do. Hop on this call with me, right? Um, here's how you opt in here. Here's how you can get this step, right? This is D of A to Z. And Hey, by the way, I'm here for you. Let's hop on a call together and create a game plan from A to F. You ready? Let's do that. You get on that game plan call together, you sign them up and you work with them to Z. I love it. Awesome. I'm glad. <laughs> so That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love, I love what you're doing. I think that you just need, cause I, I I'm familiar with what you're doing and I've seen some of your stuff before. I think that the disconnect is that you've got a really beautiful aesthetic and a nice, an aesthetic ideal, but the message that you're sharing where we're really talking about the core about, um, about the toxins and, and, and the more oily related stuff, the disconnect there is that it's, it's not, there's not really a clear line of, of the benefit between the two, but if we can start talking about the underlying thing, the why behind the, why she needs to ditch the toxins, she doesn't need to ditch the toxins because she got an autoimmune diagnosis and she is not a paper cutout of an autoimmune diagnosis. She's a woman who wants to live a gorgeous life and she wants to feel gorgeous and she wants to reconnect with that piece of herself. And yes, she's dealing with this thing that's standing in the way. And now she's got to navigate all of this new stuff that she never had to before. She just wants things to be pretty and simple and easy. Well, show her how she can get something pretty and simple and easy right here. Okay. I love right? it. I'm proud of Thank you. Thank you, doing Coach really cool work. Ashley. You're amazing. Well, we're happy to have you in our community, and I hope that you'll come back and show me what you created next time. Okay, I will. <laughs> Thanks, Heidi. Okay, great questions today. Great call. By the way, you guys, uh, yes, we workshopped with two today, uh, but uh, that invite is open every single week. If you go to attractwell.com forward slash live work right? Is that it? It's live work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can you verify that for me? <laughs> I think it's live work. Um, we will work together on whatever you need help with. And that's not it. Are you, you're knowing me? <laughs> yeah, that's a no. It doesn't work. Um, I don't remember that one offhand. Hold on. <laughs> I know we set something up. Just made it like yesterday. <laughs> uh, uh, work review, right? Work Plus review. Work that's review. what it is. Attractable.com forward slash work review. We will review your work together. Uh, and so, yeah, that can mean that we look at your funnel. It can mean we look at your homepage. It could mean just like we did today. We're just kind of talking through stuff and figuring things out. And I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll come up with your elevator pitch for you while we're talking. <laughs> Anyway, um, appreciate you guys. And uh, we look forward to having you on a call. Don't be shy. Uh, we want to bring you out. We want to work with you. These, again, are really designed to not just be a, a, I'm coach and I'm here to talk. Like, I don't really need that. Like, I mean, so long as you guys like it, I'll do it. But interrupt me with your questions and your comments and say, hey, I want to talk too. We can do that. So uh, look forward to having you on next week. Thank you to Greg for wielding a magic wand that made this super cool system that's so easy to use and saves us all so much money. And uh, we'll see you guys next week, same time. Have a great week, guys.